Hi students, welcome to the video class for the subject Big Data Analytics. Subject code is 17 CS82 and we'll start with our first module. What is Big Data? What is the meaning of the word Big? Big means huge volume of data. In today's world, there is a huge collection of data like uh, number of mails sent and received per minute, Facebook data, mobile data, uh, tweets, number of tweets per day and uh, volume of YouTube videos and all this data it will be in different format and there should be some mechanism to maintain this data and to process this data because this traditional uh, data processing application could not handle this huge volume of data and big data it refers to three V's the first V stands for huge collection of data second V stands for velocity that is um, in a faster rate in a faster speed the data should be generated and it should be processed and the third V stands for variety of data that is the data um, will be in various formats and I should be able to handle this data which is in various format and the challenges faced are since there is huge collection of data I need more storage space and if I want more storage space with a traditional system I need more money expenditure will be more and uh, coming to the uh, speed in a faster rate I should be able to generate and process this data and as I said uh, big data is huge collection of data and this data it won't be in the same format it will be in various format and I should be able to handle this data in various format and this is one of the challenge and the fourth challenge is agile business requirement each uh, business needs the data uh, in various formats and uh, as I said since there is a huge collection of data I need huge storage space and uh, I want this storage space in a cost effective manner if I use this traditional RDBMS system uh, it will be more expensive so I have chosen this Hadoop Hadoop uh, is less in cost when compared with the uh, standard RDBMS and what is this Hadoop? Uh, Hadoop actually in 2004 it was started as a project later in 2005 two engineers uh, um, Cutting and Michael Caffarella they have developed this into a framework or into a infrastructure for processing data in a distributing way and uh, this Hadoop framework has tools and applications to process huge volume of data and uh, how do I get this name Hadoop it comes from one of the engineer cutting uh, whose son has named his toy elephant as Hadoop and he has kept the same name for his um, framework and this Hadoop framework as I said it enables distributed processing of large amount of data across cluster of commodity computers what do you mean by commodity computers commodity computer means um, in a cluster of computers if there is a failure in any one node I should be able to move that node out from that cluster I should be able to swap the node out such type of cluster is known as commodity clusters or uh, commodity computers and it is an open source data management um, with storage and processing capability it was developed by Apache Software Foundation and as I said it was written in Java and this Hadoop has two main parts storage part and the processing part the storage part it is implemented with HDFS Hadoop distributed file system Hadoop distributor file system and in this uh, video we can see few features of Hadoop distributed file system Hadoop uh, the first feature of this HDFS is write once read many that is at 
at a time only one right can happen but many read can happen and further rights are appended in a sequential way right so write once read many option is the first feature of my hadoop distributed file system and this uh, hadoop hdfs it allows data streaming that is we can take a bulk of data from the disk and this uh, block size of my data is from 64 mb to 128 mb right it allows data streaming i can read a bulk of data from the disk and the block size of my uh, data will be from 64 mb to 128 mb and no caching is allowed and it enables data locality that is data will be in its place i won't move data from server to server instead of moving data from server to server i'll be moving computation to the data computation to the place where data is available and i maintain multiple copies of data across the cluster why i need uh, why i maintain multiple copies if there is any failure in any one node i should not lose the data i should be able to get the data from other nodes so i'll maintain multiple copies so these are some features of my hadoop distributed file system so as i said hadoop has two parts first is storage part and processing part storage part it is implemented with hadoop distributed file system and this hadoop distributed file system it follows the uh, gfs gfs is nothing but google file system and these are some of the features of my hadoop distributed file system and coming to the uh, hdfs components i have two main components name node and the data node name node and the data node on uh, name node it stores the metadata and data node is the place where the actual data is available so two main components of my hdfs is name node and the data node name node has the metadata what do you mean by metadata data about data some information needed to store and retrieve the data from the data node will be available in the uh, name node in data node i'll have the actual data and i have one more node known as secondary name node i'll explain this later uh, suppose if the client wants to perform any read or write operation how it happens is like if client wants to perform a read operation first the client has to approach the name node the name node will give the best data node once this information is received by the client this information is known as metadata once the client receives this metadata it goes to the corresponding data node and it access the data suppose if the client wants to perform any write operation the client has to approach the name node first name node will decide the number of blocks needed and it will find the corresponding data node and gives the information to the data node sorry uh, to the client client after receiving this metadata it goes to the corresponding data node and it performs the write operation right so uh, this is the working procedure of uh, read and write operation by the client thank you